Hey, greetings to Brunos. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Me? I'm alright. I'm coming back. I'm going to try to, anyway. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, but the fact is, I've been trying to do a video for many months now. And it's not been working. And that's because life has had some real downs. I lost two family members this spring. And that ain't easy. And a funny thing happens when someone, you know, someone you care about dies. Everything looks different. And a lot of people you know, they just don't want to talk about it. But there's shit about that all, and how it went down, that I feel the need to talk about. I was hoping that I could talk to you. So in fact, the last video I had posted was about a funeral, because my, uh, my grandfather had died. My step-grandfather. But he was just as good as the real thing. He was a great guy. And when we lost him, that was hard enough. Hard on my grandmother. But at the same time, another thing that was going on was my aunt. Her name was Charmaine. She was ill with cancer. And the summer before, she had, you know, discovered this lesion on her tongue. And in the fall, that she had gotten a diagnosis of cancer. And when they went in to look to do something about it they found that it was in her lymph nodes etc and it had begun to spread and they did an operation on her to try and remove all that and of course chemo and radiation and we had hopes of a recovery but it didn't end up that way by Christmas time she had gotten worse and by January she had found out that it had spread to her lungs both lungs, front and back, multiple lesions. And as it turns out since then, she had found out in January that it was a terminal diagnosis, but she didn't tell very many people. But when I think back on it, I knew. I didn't want to know, but I knew. And she got worse you know, pretty quickly after that, and she passed away at the end of March, March 28th at 12.36 a.m. in the morning. And the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life is to be there with someone I've known all my life and watch them die. I debated long and hard whether or not to do a video about this. But it's like I can't move on with this channel and do videos again or anything without getting some of this out. You know, it's not like the movies. Do you know that? We've seen it in a lot of movies, right? You've seen people die how many times? It's not the fucking same. And so, you know, I was there. I've lost people before. Not a lot of fam close family members. A couple. It's the first time I've ever been there when a person has passed. It's a hell of a thing. But at the same time, with all the people that we're there for, my aunt was an amazing person. She was well loved by many, many people. She was a social worker, the type of person who helped people. And there were dozens of people there all week long. At one point, we must have had like 80 people stuffed in that room, man. It was just amazing. A lot of good people come to see her to say goodbye waited out to be with her. I'm glad they did. And as hard as it was, I guess I'm glad I was there for Because she knew we were there. At least when she still had some consciousness. 
Well, anyway. There's a couple of things about it, though, that I also relate to what this channel's about and why I can't get on with the channel and why I can't address certain topics and deal with certain people in the world without getting this shit out. See, because my aunt was gay. Bisexual, actually. She had a son from early on in life, but she always preferred women. And it wasn't really something that I... wasn't at all something that I ever discussed with her about. I never talked to her about it. Never acknowledged it, actually. Even though I knew. She'd lived with a woman for 25 years, the last 25 years. Wonderful person, actually. My Aunt Josie, I call her. But it was a conflict with my family, and I'm... I don't know, man, I don't know. So ashamed of the fact that I didn't do more to make it comfortable for her and her partner in our family. I'm really pissed off about religion and its bullshit and its judgmentality of people that are different. The hateful values that instills in some people and the judgmentalism that's so ingrained in even good people that can be so ingrained in them by some of this shit that a mother can turn against her daughter's nature and never want her to talk about it or bring anybody around or acknowledge that major part of their lives. And I'm so ashamed of myself that I never helped her with that, that I never addressed it. And the religion aspect, I mean, uh, <laughs> my aunt was a religious person. She was a believer. And I respected that. Her beliefs were along traditional native beliefs, and that mattered to her, so I respected that. And I went and I participated in funeral rites in a traditional, somewhat traditional, I guess you could say, aboriginal funeral, modified, modern, traditional. And instead of a Christian preacher or anything up at the front, they had essentially an Anishinaabe priest, a practitioner of, the, of that belief. And they played some beautiful songs. They had a drum group that sang an honor song, among other things. I've been exposed to that culture for many years, and I, I, I don't buy into it as a believer, but I respect that it means something to them. So, but I find it interesting, though, that, the, you know, whether it's a Christian funeral or a native funeral or whatever, well, a preacher guy up there, he's always gathering a few more into the fold. They always take that opportunity, don't they? I don't know. What the fuck are you going to do? But the one remarkable thing, I guess, about the funeral, I was a pole bearer. I've done that before. First time I ever did that was for a friend of mine from high school almost 30 years ago. But for this, this is the first time I ever participated in a funeral where not only do the pallbearers, family members, friends, co-workers, not only do you carry the casket to the grave site and put it on those belts on that thing over the grave, right? Most funerals, what happens? They say the prayers, a few moments to think about it, and you go away. And then later on, they drop the casket down, bury it over, etc. Not this one. <laughs> Not this one. You're there while a drum group is singing, and they lowered her in. Another touch we had was also the fact that her little dog, little pug dog, God, I hate those things. <laughs> but she loved it so. And it would love, it loved her. It was, you know, a lovely little creature for such an ugly little thing. <laughs> but uh, her dog had gotten sick and they'd had it put down a few months before and they had preserved the body, frozen it. <laughs> it was in a freezer in the garage. And her beloved little pug, Sky. We buried her, her with her. My aunt, we buried the dog 
at her feet. And the thing that was so different about this funeral is the relatives do the burying. You stay behind with a shovel and you cover them over. It's not just a drop a clump and walk away. You take your jacket off and you get that shovel out and cover them over. That was a trip and a half. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, you know, <laughs> what are you going to do? Like I said, I don't believe in any of that religious stuff. I don't believe in the spiritual stuff. Sometimes I really wish I did. Because if anybody deserved heaven, she did. She was an awesome person. My Aunt Charmaine. <laughs> awesome person. One final thing. Skeptic, doubter, and unbeliever that I am, my aunt's aboriginal name, which I can't pronounce, meant effectively Red Morning Sky Woman. And the last day of her life, the last dawn before she died, looked like this. That's an actual picture that I took that morning before she passed. Huh. Go figure. Well, anyway, I needed to get that off my chest. Hope it didn't bother you too much. Now I feel like I can move on a little bit, maybe get back to doing this some more. I got a couple of videos planned. I really do. There's some things I want to get into. And it's not all bad. It's not all maudlin. There's been some new things added to my life. Some good things. And most other things, still going pretty good. We'll talk about that soon. To all of you out there, peace and long life.